orientation is gay. A lesbian. Bisexual. I'm pansexual. Generally speaking, I don't feel like there's too much animosity. I feel like there's actually a pretty decent community on this campus um, and quite a few allies. You can't hide your race and you choose your religion, but when people are out and proud of their sexuality um, in the face of like so much hatred, like that is just, that takes so much strength and so much courage. And um, I mean, as a straight American, it's my duty, it's my responsibility to make sure that everyone has the same rights that I have. Mm -hmm. I began questioning my sexuality in middle school, I'd say. When I was about 13. Um, I was probably in eighth grade. I remember even as far back as like third grade, honestly having feelings for my close friends and thinking that's not okay. And uh, it wasn't until I got to college that I actually officially came out and had a, a name for it. I was uh, in uh, on the streets playing with my friends, both male, and uh, they were throwing a football back and forth. And um, I was on my bike, and one guy threw the football to the other guy, and uh, and his name was um, Anthony. And uh, Anthony put his arm around me while catching the football, and I got this little inclination right there for a little bit, and. Um, that's pretty much how it went down. And I definitely kept all of my feelings to myself because all my friends were straight. The first people I told were my friends on campus here at Arcadia because um, I felt like they were pretty good, pretty good friends, decent people, trustworthy, um, and they were all really cool about it. A lot of them actually weren't surprised at all, which is the funny part of it. Um, but they were definitely the first to tell. Uh, I told my sister a few months after, eventually told my mom, and still kind of in the process of telling my extended family. Some of my close friends knew mm -hmm. and they said it wasn't a surprise. Um, but yeah, I was pretty honest with my friends. My parents I didn't tell for a while, not until I was in high school. Well, first of all, my best friend, she knew right away. She said she always knew. And I'm like, how, how? She goes, uh, the share t-shirt. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, no. And, uh, when I told my mom, um, she said, it's about bloody time. I'm like, thanks, mom. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I was never really out to my family. It was kind of understood, I guess, that because my stepmom's bisexual. And she actually came out to me and let me know uh, when I'm, it was my first or second year in high school. So when I was finally comfortable to tell my parents about my girlfriend and I. It was my senior year of high school and I was getting ready for prom and we were at Kohl's and um, I was walking around with my stepmom looking around and when we were looking at jewelry she was like, oh, so who is she? Like she just kind of knew somehow that I had been seeing somebody so it was just kind of understood and then when Squally started coming over to the house, my family's very open and accepting so I guess I'm lucky in that way. but. In high school, I got picked on a couple of times when I had girlfriends, um, but I wasn't picked on as much as some of the other kids in the high school were. But it, it wasn't too bad. But yeah, I've definitely been treated differently because I'm bisexual. And a lot of my friends were pretty cool about it, and a lot of them had assumed and weren't really surprised. A few of my friends at home, however, were a little weird about it. Like one of my friends, you know, was always very kind of touchy-feely with me. I never thought anything of it. Um, but after I'd come out to her, we were hanging out and she was kind of like jumping on me and she was like, oh wait, you really do like girls, that's kind of weird, and backed herself off me even though I had no feelings at all for her. So that was kind of weird, but for the most part, nobody nobody really changed too much in their reaction. Friend, my best friend in childhood knew. Uh, she, well first of all, she told the entire school and uh, woo. and um, at first I was very embarrassed. I was very embarrassed, but then I got more comfortable, and I got more comfortable with my own skin, and um, and so it wasn't. I mean, it was it was bad in high school, but now it's okay. I think most people who are against homosexuality are from a religious community. Um, and while that varies, I mean, people have always used the Bible as um, 
sort of an excuse to hate people. I think it's the fear of the unknown for a lot of straight people, or fear of knowing, and they don't want to know. It's the whole keeping the public stuff in your public sphere and whatever is private, like your sexuality or whatever, in your private life and keep it on the DL and don't tell anybody unless you're comfortable with them and they're comfortable with you. You're supposed to somehow understand that. I would say I don't see it on campus, but today, actually, that changed, unfortunately. Um, I heard some, uh, I hate to say it, but I'm not to stereotype, but I'm pretty sure they were sports-related um, people using the F word, if you know what I mean, towards gay men. I hate that word so much. Um, and I couldn't believe that somebody on this campus particularly was using such a derogatory term. Um, I think it's because people don't understand. They don't understand that um, it's just another loving relationship. It when you when you're in a relationship, you aren't looking and caring about what the other gender is. You're loving and caring about the person, who they are, their personality. And I think um, most people that that are against um, the LGBT community are because they don't understand what what it really is. Religious upbringing. Um what other people teach them, like schools, uh, things like that. Especially a lot of religious schools teach teach children that being gay is a sin, and uh, and it's okay to think it, which is really interesting. But you're not allowed to perform it. <laughs> um, so that's one more of the main reasons why I believe. I feel like visibility is really important. I'm taking a gays and lesbians class this year, so I'm starting to like look at the deeper aspects of the troubles within our own, within the gay community. And I think a lot of issues include visibility and not being able to see other gay students on campus or in high schools or at churches or wherever. You don't feel safe and I feel like that's a big problem, especially in rural communities, which is what we were learning about in that class. But I feel like visibility is really important and that's one of my main missions.